Okay, this is just a little one on transformers. I'm going to take and destroy a transformer here, and you can get an idea of what it looks and sounds like. Uh, no smelly vision here, but uh, does that too. Most transformers do not fail because the transformer failed. They fail because something downstream shorted them out. And uh, that's going to be the case with this one. I'm going to give you a couple of amp draws so you can see the difference in amps because this this I've got 120 going into and I've got 24 coming out. So my amp draw because the same amount of power is going through it the amp draw is going to be much higher on the secondary than it is in the primary. Let's go ahead I'm going to go ahead and short this out and you can see we're drawing about 2.15 amps. Now when I put the uh, meter on the secondary and do the same thing, you'll see a higher draw. Okay, it's drawing 17 amps. Now that's a lot of amps for that little bugger. Uh, and uh, this normally should only run about 2 amps. Uh, this is a 50 VA transformer. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, it's just essentially kind of a smoke walk watch uh, so here we go You may also notice my uh, specialized fuse. That's a quarter inch bolt that I use to bypass the fuse. Well, that appears to be it. We have a little, little fire here. Well, we're going to have to put that fire out. It is kind of dry around here. And here it is in slow motion. Okay, and this is why you put fuses in these things. So, uh, if there is a fuse in one, and you bypass the fuse and leave it that way, and you get another short, this is what uh, very possibly could happen. This could uh, catch your house on fire, so I want to consider that.